small words that keep repeating themselves again and again through Janet's thoughts. It was too late to run back now. It was as if she was riding a giant tidal wave. It would be folly to fight against it. Her only chance would be to adapt, or perhaps also survive. Oh! Oh! Oh, it, it's you. Can, can you help me? I'm trying to hide from my master and his minion. They scare me. I feel all is not well here. I've been thinking a lot about Eddie. I have a feeling of foreboding. It's all like some terrible dream. Is it true you don't like men with too many muscles? Well... Do you have any lip gloss? Look, I'm engaged to Brad, just the same as Benny Monroe was to Ralph Hapshack, but, but Frank's kisses, they overwhelmed me with an ecstasy I'd never felt before. Hot, burning kisses. I saw Brad's face before me and my mind screamed, no! But, but my body just craved more and more, and I couldn't control myself, and oh my god, what have I done? This room is like a womb to me. It. It's instinctive. You came here for one thing, security. Oh, what have they done with Brad? Janet's feelings ran wild as she frantically manipulated the selector switch on the TV monitor. The screen threw up empty rooms and corridors. Finally, she stopped at Frank's bedroom. Ah! ah! Oh, you can't rely on anyone. Oh, Brad! If one is suffering from pains of remorse, from a sexual indiscretion, it would seem logical that the transgressor would be sympathetic toward the loved one committing a similar misdemeanor. But emotion is an, is an irrational and powerful master. And from what Janet witnessed on the TV monitor, there seemed little doubt that she was indeed its slave. Tell us about it, Janet. I was feeling done in. Couldn't win. I'd only ever kissed before. You mean she only ever kissed? Yes. I thought there's no use getting into heavy petting. It only leads to trouble. 